Lucy. Oh, help me. Bones cold as winter iron. Mouth burning. Sick. I'm not sick, John. You're not sick. Eyes open, eyes closed, everything turns. Water, Lucy. Such beautiful, big, round eyes, John. Much prettier than before. Like a Spanish lady. Bring me water. Please. Look at me, John. Look. I want you to know, John, before you go too far, I want you to know that I did it. I killed you. Lucy? Help me. Lucy? We present Paradise and No Adam by Keith Goodall. No. Why not? I need it. What for? To defend myself against the likes of you. Hey, touch me with that and I'll have you. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, here, poke into that lot and nuke a bit out. Now, just look at that. Oh. Just chuck a block with weeds and it's your job, isn't it? And this heat, it'll be stinking soon. Need a peg on your Ooh. nose just to walk out garden. <laughs> hey, what goes peck, peck, bang, peck, peck, bang? Don't know. Two chickens in a minefield. <laughs> I'd stop your pocket money, I would. No work, no pay. You make it up then, Gran. Last night, that story. You make it up. Now then, what's this? Here. What's what? Here, with white flowers. Well? Come free. What can you do with it? I could tell you. you what? <laughs> oh, no! I stop it, Tickles! That hurts! Cuts! Stop it! It's good for cuts! Aye, right, so you can keep something in that yet of yours besides scandalous goings on. You did that at school late, have you? A tickling. Anything. Teachers touch us, they're in trouble. Like what? I don't know. <coughs> Take them to court. Scared of us, aren't they? Scared? Teachers, they're too soft on you, that's what. Anyone knows a kid's brain's connected direct to its backside. European court, that's it. It was on telly. Your mother should have listened, I told her. Ten minutes regular with a big stick early on saves years of trouble later. Where is she, then? She? And who might that be? Sorry, where's mother? Oh, mother now, is it? Decided we're grown up, have we? I heard her the other day. So on the phone, don't Mel talking to him like that. You shouldn't eavesdrop. Well, just walking past, wasn't I? Yeah, one of these days you'll hear something you don't want to, then you'll be sorry. It smells. Class up, he smells bad. Face like dried up custard skin, all pockles. And that stubby moustache. That's enough. He hasn't oh. got a moustache. You know he hasn't got a moustache. Well, used to be all right, she did, before he turned up. What's she need him around for? If you don't know, no one can tell you. Don't be so rude about your mother. No, oh, I know all about that. That stuff. Kissing and groping. Oh, yes. Get lessons on it. Who sticks what where. That's all it oh, is. Let's go! Well, we don't need him. Well, you might not. But who's asking you anyway? Greasy hair and all that dandruff clinging onto it like dead fish in treacle. Any he road, now he's seen you. He might not come back again. Yeah. Now... What's this? Saw him yesterday. Well, that little one. See that clump there? Mm. Louis leaves and little yellow flowers. That's true. Yes. And? And it's good for headaches, which is what I'm getting with all this. Go on, I'll pick some. Just the leaves, mind. God, it stinks. Yeah. Well, that's no good. We'll need more of that. Mm. Stinks worse than school bog. Jenny! Oh, hey! You know what it was for? Now get on with it. All right. Need about a bagful. I'll shove it in here. Further grace, that is. Hey, Gran. What sex? What? What sex? I told you. If you don't know, nobody sex can tell is you. What posh people keep their colon. <laughs> regret and repentance, Ruiz. <laughs> it's just what you need. If he comes back, he'll stay, won't he? With his stubby fingers and sticky little hands. There's some more over there, mm. to your left. How do you know he's got sticky hands? We should put you in a circus imagination like yours. You could be one of them fortune tellers. Now, that's enough. Right. Now, come on. There's work to do yet. Oh, there she is, look. 
Up there waiting. That's the third time she's hoovered that room. Can't be healthy. Dear me. Bet your teacher's a glad of the rest for them. You deserve the summer holidays, you do, and I don't care what anybody says. Well, only because they're soft. Anyway, this is just like school, isn't it? You can't get away from it. Not with her. Someone making cork to size of a 15-year-old's gobbled make a fortune. Hey, what the cannibals play at parties? I don't know. Swallow me leader. <laughs> Just listen to them, bicker and chatter, like a yard full of chickens. Barely a pause for breath and off they go again. Hours together. Put sand on your chest a bit. <laughs> Might do. If he had any chest to speak of. Run! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, there seems to be a fault on this line. Incoming calls aren't getting through. If you give me your number, I'll have it checked for you. Four trouble five. Thank you. Jenny! Mother! <laughs> Jenny! Mother! <laughs> hey, do you know what I saw her doing one morning? No. She was... And I don't want to either. Writing down the mileage. If you fetch that sack there, we can sweep up the leaf into it. Mm. I saw her in the garage. Checking mileage on Dad's car. Making a note of it in her little book. Just like a teacher, dead... What does she call it? Methodical. Well, she was upset, wasn't she? Gets to you. Your man was upset. Probably went through his checkbook and all. Yeah, if you hold it open, I'll sweep in. And his credit card bill, probably. See if he's been to restaurants. Meals for two and that. Oh, carry me out. Well, that's what they do on telly. If they're jealous, like. Check everything. Here you are. Let's make a start on those, eh? Hey, what would you call these? Jenny. I don't blame him, you know. I don't blame him for leaving. People checking up on you like that. Oh, come on, let's have them. Look, you could put your nose in them and then... <coughs> it'd drop off and bounce on the floor. Would it bounce, do you think? What'd you say you call them? Secretaries for pruning. Now, come on, Jenny, there's a good girl. Oh. They're not for playing you with... You never called me good girl before. Look, they fit round me little finger. Snug as a bug in a rug. Stop messing about. Now, I want to get on with it. Jenny. Jenny! Thank you. Cut through that thick roasting. Oh, no trouble at all. Don't want you hurting yourself, do we? No, you don't. Do you? Jenny! He just went! I couldn't stop him! Didn't want to stay! He did! I want to! Oh, Jenny, what on earth do you think you're doing? Come here! I don't. She's gone and cut herself. Splish, splash, drop! Bubbly red! She's got the bread knife. Bundles of bubbles, drip, drop! Jenny, give me the knife. Brown and crusty when it dries. Jenny, love, that's my best blue cup. <laughs> now, you don't want to break that. My favourite. Beautiful cup. Look at the pictures. Pictures? There. We want to keep the blue cup, don't we? <laughs> Mother, move the knife away. I didn't mean to break the blue cup. I didn't mean to break it. See? You've got to cut them like that. Hard back. Looks cruel, but it does them good. I used to blame him, me dad, for not taking me with him. You can't be soft with them. But he was probably already shacked up with someone. Wouldn't want me around, would he? Where do you get all this from? Shacked up. True, though, isn't it? Doesn't mean you have to say it. Tell you what, if you want to live to see 16, if I was you, I'd set myself down for ten minutes a day and practice keeping my mouth shut. Well, we do that at school. Don't make no difference. Well, you've not much left to learn, then, have you? You and your mates. At least me dad was handsome. This one looks like he's got a stocking on his head. Right. You get them gloves on, you can give us out with the cuttings. What did you mean, carry me out? Carry me out and bury me decent. Don't mean nothing. Means you're surprised. Oh. <coughs> Are you sick again? Of course I'm sick. You get to my age, you've got a right to be sick, haven't you? It's one of the few pleasures left. Good cough and a spit. And you ate your breakfast too quick. You shouldn't, you know. 
May I be struck down dumb if someone doesn't box your ears for you before you're much older? And that someone might just be me. No! No, no, stop! Oh! Oh, you hurt it! It tickles! I'll have the cards on you! <laughs> oh. 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 She should give her a chance, you know. Your yeah, mum. She means well. You just feel that some. It's like a warm hand stroke in your face. Yeah, it makes you think of people in towns. Bushes and dust. What's that? A song. You know last night? That story. You going to finish it? About Lucy. What was that? What? I thought I heard your mother. No. Busy, isn't she? Oh, come on then. Gears hand up. Let's get on with it. You need a tractor on this place. It's too big. You know that old plough in the barn? To get it out and put you in harness. It might slow you down a bit. But can we go up there? No, you know you're not allowed. It's too rickety. Oh, go on. That plough comes down on you, you'll go to the hospital in a jam jar. <laughs> and they scraped him off the run where like a pound of strawberry jam. They scraped him off the run where like a pound of strawberry jam. David? Our engineers are unable to locate a fault on your line, caller. I see. Thank you. You could have rung by now, you bastard. Jenny! Mother! Dinner will be served at seven o'clock, if anyone's interested. The family will gather at seven for lightly boiled sheep's heads and hot buttered armpits, OK? It's the top leaves, Jen. An handful, that's all. Then we'll go in. Dinner's at seven. Well, dinner's always at seven. I think it'll change when old stocking face comes. I think it'll be dinner at five and brown sauce on the table. Right. Then all that is. See the little yellow bits? Beautiful, in it? You can dive all with it, too. Didn't you to need all these tins of stuff? Well, maybe we'll have to eat in the kitchen. Separate. Like servants. Folks used to stuff it in keels of a night. Plug them up to stop ghosts getting in. Scent of the bedroom, lovely. Greasy black hairs curled in the sink. Stubble in the soap. Well, the keels, not the only thing that needs plugging up. Now, that's enough of that. Come on, let's go in. Chewing up for the toilet while he finishes the racing times. Ow! What was that? What did you do that for? That bloody hurt you, cow! You know what it's for. You've been going on like a dripping tap. And don't swear. You've never hit me since... Not since I can't remember. You never hit me. Not really. Well, it's my mistake. I should have done it long since. Somebody should. It's all right. Don't bother me. No, yeah, that's just it. You're not fried of nothing, are you? You and your mates. That's just what's wrong. When I was a kid, you went to bed with your arms crossed over your chest in case you died in your sleep. Never did, though, did you? No, it gave you something to think about besides mischief. You was a teacher. You'd have had police on you by now. You'd be in jail. I'm going to have to bring you sandwiches and a flask. I was a teacher. I'd have probably shot myself, you know, and saved you the bother. Well, some of the big kids did one last month. Slashed his tyres, broke off air and everything. Did him. What if I belted you back? You could try. Go on, then. Big mouth. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, that's evil. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, why, why don't... <laughs> why don't... Why worms, don't... Worms, why don't worms have balls? Jenny? Because they can't dance. I tell you jokes. You tell me the story. Tell you what. You don't tell me jokes, and I'll tell you the story. <laughs> Creams, potions, powders, lotions, blushes, junk, skin cream, face cream, night cream, knickknacks, pots, tins, tubes, it can all go. <sighs> Mummy, I've done your letter. In the box. Dear Mummy, the blue cup broke itself. It fell. Sorry. Love, Jenny. Kiss, kiss, kiss. 
Hello, love. You all right? Oh, Mother, I was just having a sort of sort out. It's good to have a clear out from time to time. Yes. I'll go and set the table. All right? Yes. How did... Uh, did you get on all right in the garden? Progress? A bit. One bed of roses done. Beck's still clogged with weeds, mine. I thought Jenny had done that. Clipped a bit off that hedge on the far side. Made a start, any road. Got a lot done, then? A bit. Plenty more. Did Jenny... What? <laughs> How's she standing up to it? To the work? All right? <laughs> Watching those sweep-ups out watching grass grow. Oh, you've plenty to talk about. You seem to find plenty to say to each other. Oh, she's good at talking. Well, you must wear her out, then. Doesn't seem to have much left to say to me. Did she say anything about David? Coming. I wondered how she felt now. I don't know, though. She never mentioned him. Oh. Right, I'll go and lay the table. Be down with me in a few minutes. Yes. We'll make a start, then. Your mum will be down in a bit. Where do you want this lot, then? All your leaves and stuff. Here, I'll put them in the cupboard out of the way. I'll we'll string them up to dry later. Jenny, do you think I could work these upstairs? See what I mean? Just like school. Always politest, just before they give you a bollock. I'm going to have a serious talk with you about anatomy. And don't... <laughs> swear. You don't have to knock. Come in. Jenny, there's no need to knock. Oh, sorry. No, why don't you sit down? I'll clear a space. I'm sorry about the mess. I'm all right. All right, standing. Okay. You look a bit tired. You're sleeping okay? I'm all right. Fine. Come on, sit down. I won't bite. I'll just go. Clear... Are still having that? Oh, Jenny, don't fiddle. I do wish you'd learn to keep your hands. I know. Hands on top of the desk. All right, Jenny, OK. Sorry. I'm a little jumpy. Please. Sit down. It's all right. I've been sitting all day. Look, can we at least drop the accent you for a You can't drop it so at all. It's not how you're brought up to talk. It's put on. Mm. Yes. It's how Grand talks. It's how village kids but talk. But not you. It's you that's different, though, isn't it? How is Granny? Did you have a nice time in the garden? More like a jungle, isn't it? Yeah. Fine. She's all right, Gran. She's good. Lots to talk about, then. Stories, you know. Stories? Yeah, you know. The olden days. Oh, it was great, because all the kids were scared stiff, stuffing flowers up keyholes. That kind of thing. Well, I was talking with Granny earlier. I was mentioning that soon, perhaps, David will be... Oh, shit. Gran's got very strong views on swearing, hasn't she? Hello? David! Yeah, how are you? Oh, hang on a minute, will you? Jenny, I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. You... No rush. I I'll just sit here. Jenny. In the space you cleared. David! Sarah? Hello. David. No, uh, hang on a minute, will you? Jenny, I'm trying to make a phone call. It's not normally a group activity. David, what's your number? Oh, if it's a secret. Sorry. Yeah, I'll go. I'll get out your way. No, it's not secret. It's personal. Please. Sarah? Jenny! Right? If it's something I shouldn't hear, fine. And could you shut the door, do you think? I said shut it, not take it with you. Sorry, David. Jenny just came in for something. How is she? I'm looking forward to seeing her again. Good. When are you coming? Well, that's what I called about. Things are a bit tricky business-wise. Probably not for a day or two now. Look, I just have to make this quick. Oh, I thought that... Oh, hold on a minute, will you? Sarah? I thought I'd be here the stairs. I'm waiting. It's what you told me. I asked you politely to go away. You can't hear nothing. I will not have you spying on me, Jenny. I won't have it. Spying? You said, wait, I'm just doing what you said. Well, go downstairs, will you? Tell... Help Granny. Tell her I'll be down. As long as you make up your mind, it's fine with me. Jenny, I will not have you talking to me as if I were some kind of fairground attendant. And how about the way you talk to me? I'm a person too. Of course, with you being a teacher, you might have forgotten that. Yes, you are a person. Yes, God save us. Oh, Jenny. Look, I'm trying. Please. Please, let's talk later. If you like. If that would be okay with your highness. 
David. Oh, hell, fire and bloody damnation. Scraped him off the man like found a strawberry jam. We scraped him off the... Well, she said you told her to get an early night. No, I just said... Uh, maybe she does need an early night. She eat anything? Not that I saw. All right, I'll take her up something in a minute. What do cannibals play to party? I haven't the faintest idea. Swallow me, leader. <laughs> <laughs> it's only Jenny's. Is she... I mean, I try to talk to her, and all I get is that slack-jawed stare. Oh, you're lucky. All I get is smutty jokes. What she's doing is blackmail, you know. She won't even know how to spell it. Oh, no, she knows exactly what she's doing. It's only cropped up again since David. It's all calculated. I've tried being nice to her. You can't be nice to kids. It confuses them. But I want her to be happy, and she plays on it. She can't be 15 and happy. It's not possible. She'll just leave it to it. I've got cramp from trying to smile at her all the time. It's giving me lines, look. See? Well, it's going to change. I won't have it. Right. I'll get me bones to bed, then. I'll just do these. No, leave it. I'll do them. The stupid thing is, when he comes, when she gets to know him, she'll really like him. He's so I'm down sure to earth. he comes with all the standard fittings. Look, it's still early. Why don't we have a glass of wine? Or whiskey or something. I'll get it. To tell you the truth, I don't really know what to do for the best. Oh, that garden's plum wore me out. By the time I get myself undressed, washed and in bed, it'll be nearly tomorrow again. Oh. Good night, then. Good night, love. Would you see if Jenny wants that? It's her favourite cheese. Right. Gran, are you awake? I had it again. That dream. I woke myself up. I thought it was him. Can I come in for a bit? Long. I won't stay long. It's too hot in my room. I can't get back off to sleep. Gran? You asleep? I'm hardly likely to be, Anna, with all that chattering going on. Your mother will skin you alive if she finds you not in bed. I can't sleep. You're not likely to, neither. Standing in the middle of my room. Go on, get yourself back. And don't wake your mother. I can't. I'm scared. <gasps> Well, there's a turn up for you. Gangsters like you, scared. We're all busy for the rest of us. Just see. Oh, no, it's too bright. Oh. I'll open curtains. There's a moon and we'll get a bit of a breeze. Oh, help yourself. Feel free. Three o'clock in the morning is normally open house. It was horrible. Scary. <coughs> I can't get back to sleep for watching shadows move. The weather is too hot. It'll break soon. Good thing, too, some of them plants could do with a drop of rain. You know not sleeping. I'll, I'll give you something for it tomorrow. I'm not one of them all-night chemists, you know. No. You know what you were saying the other night? Do you want to finish it? Oh, come on. Get yourself back to bed. It should help me sleep. Then I'll go back. Promise. I wet my finger. I wipe it dry. I cut my throat if I tell a lie. Go on, tell us. I'll tell you what. I hope you didn't wipe that finger on the sheets. Go on, shift up a bit. Won't take a minute. Oh, Lord, you're a dreadful child, aren't you? Wanted to know everything you shouldn't and nothing you should. And you need to be getting yourself settled. Well, the night was a mistake, a moment of weakness. And you shouldn't take advantage. Shh. Oh, now we're for it. It's gone. Oh, this house is like me. Creaking bones. Where was he going? I can tell you where you're going. If you don't tell me, I'll scream. I'll scream and she'll come running in and batter them both of us. You will, will you? <gasps> Get off the street. Go. Where was he going? To the village. To a cottage. That one near the bed. I've seen it. 
It's a wonder it hasn't been struck down by lightning. Why was he going there? Because he was lovesick. You know all about that, don't you? Done it in school. It's typical, isn't it? Typical man. You're the expert. But did she know? After a bit. Why? Lucy weren't as soft on men as some as you could think on. Oh, men are horrible. I hate them. Well, I'm sure they'd all be mortified to hear it. Right. Now then, take yourself back to bed before your mother comes in here to warm my ears and your arms. Oh, well, carry me out and bury me decent. <laughs> <laughs> Go on with you, and quietly. Right. And you can take this cheese sandwich with you. Your mum made it for you. Oh, great, I'm starving. Half child, half gangster. <laughs> what would you do with it? <gasps> if he does come back to set up shop, I'd rather him than me. Thoughts on that earlier, Lucy. Please. John! John! Shall I turn it down then? Of course, about number two. Stick in the kitchen out. Now leave it to simmer a bit more. Questions and hedgehog Scott, please. Hey, see that and big thing with red spots. What's that? Well, it's not for playing with, that's what. At least not till you know what you're doing, which in your case will be never. Yeah, look at this. You don't listen, do you? You don't take any flaming notice. That will be teacher at school. Sorry. It will be. Go on then. Have a good look. It's Wolf's Bane, that is. All lots poisonous. All of it. So you don't touch it without gloves. Get a cut on your hand and touch that, you'll have your dinner all over your boots in no time. Oh. And that'll be the least of your problems. Oh, go on. Try it out if you don't believe us. Hickory dickory dock. Two mice ran up a clock. The clock struck one, but the other one got away. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Hey, give us a swing. Go on. I'll stop asking questions. Whoa! I thought we were all grown up now. That's for kids. Oh, go on. It'll be a deal. Swing, no questions. Swing, no questions. Swing, no questions. No more hedgehogs, please. Blackmail. Is that what they teach you? And I'm too old for all that oh, stuff. Oh, go on. So I'll try and make it tomorrow or Wednesday. Try. Well, there's two more things to sort out, two more accounts. Well, there's no bloody way around it, Sue. They've got to be done, and that's the end of it. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you whenever. Same here. I've got something for the kid. Present. For Jenny? Picked it up cheap. Yeah, but don't tell her that. <laughs> all right. Right. I'd better get on. See you, love. Wednesday, maybe. Bye. Bye. Jenny, run back. Phone an ambulance. Numbers on the pad. Well, go on. <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, what the hell are you playing at? Oh, stay here. I'll go myself. She winked. What? She winked at me. She's all right. Look. Oh, sorry, love. Are you all right, Mother? Oh, I'm dizzy. I fell over. I, I've been spinning, turning. I, oh, I can't open my eyes proper. Well, oh, let's just around. <coughs> no, hang on. Hang on. I thought as you got older, you got wiser, not dafter. Oh, I'm a stupid old woman, I know. I'm a silly cow. Oh, 
Oh, if you just stop turning a minute. You're just dizzy. All right, otherwise. I must guess a goose in a gutter. <laughs> Never better. Give us hand, will you? Jenny, take the other side, will you? Dear me, oh, it's, it's like one of them waltzers. Black waltzers. Oh, well, whatever they... <laughs> They turn, don't they? I was worried. You were worried. How do you think I felt? Do you not think you're a bit old to be doing PT in the garden? I reckon I've swung my last swing, Jenny. Look. I'm glad to hear it. Can you walk? Yeah, I'm all right. Well, I would like you to be in one piece when David arrives. Oh, of course I'll be in one Jenny, piece. Jenny, I think I can manage. Would you like to go on ahead and get cleaned up? Looks like it could be a major operation. And don't worry. Worry? But asking the rest of us what we think. I know we don't count. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, yes, I guess I've done. Let me get that off the stove. Oh, it smells like school toilets. Oh, I'll get you some aspirin. Aspirin? Well, I won't give it to room. It makes you constipated. Oh, do you want a drink? Oh, me. What's the noise? No, I don't think the head can stand that. You know very well. Tea, all right. And don't go saying anything to her. She's doing very well. Reminds me of last winter. When we all sat by the thing. And when we had that airlock in the past. If you're feeling that much better, you can rinse us lettuce. That row for the village concert, is it? I'll take a bag of cotton wool down with you. You could make a fortune. This is the first positive thing that she's done for months. This is a daisy. Too long. Get some down. I'd like her to be encouraged. I encouraged to give up. I was running family. What did you think of David? I mean, I know you haven't seen much of him. I've seen nice enough. I do a bit of snarting up, man. It looked like he was giving away with a pound of tea. Did he have a moustache? No. <laughs> He'd look awful. Right, there's your lettuce. I thought there were another slug, but it seems to have disappeared again. Oh, well, I'll go and get myself cleaned up then. Anyone? What do you mean? It sounded like somebody had died and you were playing them out. I'm doing my best. Well, it's no excuse for nothing, that isn't. Ready? I was worried about you. Well, you could play something more cheerful to celebrate then. Well, what's that you're always whistling? I don't whistle. It's not ladylike. We're all ladies now, are we? Which one do you mean? Uh, da, 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 da. No. No. Da, da, no, no, da, no, no, not like that. You've got cloth ears just like your mother it goes. Da da dee 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 That's it. Oh right. Set that last note. Sounded like a sparrow farting. Might I give a lady should be a bit more advice of a musical nature? Go on. Try and listen. No. Jenny, Mother! No need to shout. I'm here. I'm not deaf. That smells good. What is it? Burned. Is Jenny coming? I think she's trying to dig a recorder out of the door. What? <laughs> she's just coming. Ah, there you are. I found that slope. I knew it was here somewhere. Ah, Jenny. Right, Jenny. What's it to be? Jenny? And see him up. Oh, go on. Well? Salad and potatoes. And oh! Please. That hurt, Gran. There's pie. I could cut off the burnt bits. It's all right. Thank you. Oh, I can't say I blame you. Did I hear you playing the recorder earlier? Mm. Sounded good. Very good. Told you she had cloth ears. <laughs> really? <laughs> I thought it was good. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> now get that pie down you. Go on, fill your boots. You've got legs on your chicken, it'd be a shame. Right? right, listen, since we're all feeling so musical, why don't we finish lunch around the piano like we used to sometimes? 
cloth ears and though I used to enjoy that. <laughs> hmm? Gran? Yeah. Go on, Liz. Now, Lord knows you need the practice. Get off. Come on, then. Waiting at the church, waiting at the church, when my body left me in the lurch, Lord, how it did not upset me. Oh, all at once, he sent me down the road. Here's the very notes, and this is what he wrote. Can't get away till I hear you today, and my wife won't let me go. Oh, we used to dance in them days, not like you lot. No, oh, get off. You knew who you were dancing with. Hold on tight, whirl around and string a bead six foot long. Have you still got them? Come on, I'll show you how to dance proper. Da 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 Moustaches, then, of course. You know, a kiss without a moustache is like beef without mustard. Not that one, Jen. Let's have a real tune. Your dad's moustache was lovely. Jenny, were you playing that? Jenny! What are you playing that for? I don't know. It's. It's a tune. What's the matter with it? Let's have full release. You know that, don't you? After all those lessons. No. No, I don't. Oh, don't stop. Please, play something. We'll all sing. I was being stupid. I've just never liked it, that's all. Well, there's not much left that you do like, is there? Why? Why do you both have to make it so hard? What did I do? Go on. Best did you go. It's my fault, and I'll tell you later. Go. Of all the tunes, all the songs you know, why teach her that one? She asked. I was singing. She asked. And it's a good tune. Is it? After you frightened me half to death with it when I was little, I'm not sure I'd agree. That and your ridiculous stories. Do you remember? Be good or Aunt Lucy will come and get you. You'll hear her coming. She'll be singing. Then you'd walk round at night, creaking floorboards and humming that stupid song just to frighten it. Go to sleep with your arms crossed in case you're bad and you die in the night. Oh, all right. Just how good did you want me to be? Wasn't meant to be. It was a game. You too. Weak, weak, feeble, neurotic. Sensitive. I was going to say sensitive. I could barely sleep in that room for weeks, months even, after you told me your precious stories. So what exactly do you think it'll do to Jenny, state she's in? Well, she's different, isn't she? Well, she'll laugh, probably. I mean, it'd take more than that to frighten kids who dye their hair green. Mother, please leave my child alone. Well, but I won't turn her away if she comes. <laughs> David will be here. Tomorrow, probably. Well, the sooner the better. Jumpy is pleased, the pair of you. I know you mean well. Another public relations victory. Another blinding success. Grand. I know you're not to sleep. You don't snore like that. Can I have a word with you? No. I've got one foot in grave already and t'other's busting to join it because it can't get enough sleep. Why was Mum so upset about the song? Because you played it so badly. And you needn't start setting up camp neither. I'm going to sleep. It's to do with that story. I heard. You want to be careful. Wind don't change. You'll end up looking like a keel. Well? Right. Yes, it was to do with the story. And before you get yourself going, there's no to it. Lucy, the woman I told you about, it was her favourite song. Oh. Your mother don't like it. And quite right, too, because I bothered her with it when she was little. All right. If Lucy was alive that long ago, how'd you know she liked it? If I tell you, do you think it'd be... I thought, oh, it'd be 
impossible to make bed to myself for a few nights. I'll wet my finger and wipe it dry. Oh, right. I believe you. Oh, you've got up and you've been eating too quick again. Shouldn't have had that pie. Just shut up and listen, please. Yes. One thing she found out, Lucy, was there's enough fault to her you without going out of your way to find more of them. You could think on that, you could. Why? Because one of these days, that tongue of yours is going to get you into more trouble than it can talk you out of. Oh. Oh, she says. So what did Lucy do? Come a day, she'd had enough of being shoved and bumped around. So she decided to move things her way a bit. But how? A starter, she killed her husband and got away with it. That's all? Is that it? No, it's not. What? Jenny, get back to bed. Now. I couldn't sleep, so... Go to your room. Go on, now do as your mother says. Thank you. I don't know what you think you're doing. I really don't. You can see the state that child's in. And I'm beginning to see how she got that way. I don't think you do. Oh, give me strength. What makes you so sure? It's not the time for all this. One thing, the thing I do know, is that I do not want my daughter kept awake listening to you. She's exhausted and confused. Can't you see it's that? why she came. She couldn't sleep. She's my daughter, and I'd be grateful if you'd bear that in mind. If you can't, well, it's too difficult. I'm sure there are other places that you can go I to. I leave her alone. It's not her fault. It was me. I thought I told you to get back to bed, and I'd go. Sarah, love No you. more, Mother. Please. Treat with pastries, you need cool hands. That's the secret. She wants you to go, doesn't she? No. We'll be here all day, Rate, you're going. Are you proud of wearing out that dust for a what? She does. I heard her last night. It's just like I said. I won't let them do it. Where would they put you? Put me? When he comes, they'll try and get rid of you. I know they will. They'll put you away. I'm not a pot of jam, you know. I know. Whoa! Don't want you rubbing all in it, do we? So you won't go? No. Yeah, love, I won't go. Promise. I'll wet my finger and wipe it dry. Cut me throat <laughs> and I tell a lie. Hey, what's the last thing that goes through a fly's mind when he hits a car windscreen at 100 miles an hour? It's bum. <laughs> I knew it was going to be smart. Oh, no. Come here. Help. Come here. Help. 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 Shh. You all right, Alma? Go on. Yes, thanks. Get scrubbing. You're in disgrace, you are. The old ones are going to have a rest, and you can polish up that jam pan. Da, 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 da. If it was so long ago, how'd you know Lucy liked that other tune? Found her diary. It was all written out at back, and there's no need to stop. Where'd you find it? In an oil bag back at barn. What a funny place to leave it. Did she go mad? I said that's where I found it. At least she put it there. <laughs> Mind you, that's where he used to shut her up. Her husband? Bastard. It's a custom that could stand reviving. And don't swear. Well, why did he do it? Shh. She won't be down for ages. Preparing the bridal chamber, isn't she? Again. Now, just you keep that tongue of yours in check. Sorry. And I'll chop it off and bake it in a pie. <laughs> and I'm not joking. Little girls' tongues are a speciality in Arabia. Get away. How do you believe anything you would? So how do I know whether to believe the rest of it? You don't. Oh. You just have to make your mind up, same as anyone else. Why did he lock her away? So he could be alone with his new look. Your ears will still work with your arm, Raven. She came here, to the house. People had seen. You know that path back at the hunt? Oh. And Lucy let him. Should have run away. No, still put, didn't she? I told anyone who'd listen how wonderful the husband was, how happy they were. No, I told you she were mad. And that's just where you're wrong, see. When this woman came to the house... Oh, yes. And which woman was this? Uh, selling plastic bushes and pegs and stuff. Oh, you didn't buy any, I hope. No. Jenny, love, will you finish off this cake? I'm going to lie down for a spell. Well, shout if you need anything. Jenny, I wanted to say... or well, to apologise if I've been a bit hard on you and Graham. 
We've all been a little on edge. It's all right. But the fact is, David's coming and I want him to stay. You're just going to have to accept it. Lie back and think of England. Look, I think you've made your point. I would have thought you were a bit past it, that's all. What? How old is he? That's none of your business. Here, you can finish making this cake. It'll be nice and fresh for his journey back. I doubt if he's going to want to stay here very long. Well, that's older. Hello, Mother. Hello. Do you want down with tea? No, oh, it's OK. It'll be mostly packets and tins anyway. How are you feeling? Oh, I'll be better for a spot of fresh air. Well, don't go too far. I don't want to have to come looking for you in the dark. Mm. And no more games. Oh, and I just put me gym knickers on special. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> sodium glutamate and artificial flavouring. Perfect. Where did you spring from, then? I heard you trying to start your engine. You cheeky monkey. You can smell the plants settling down for the evening. I've been thinking. I spoil things, don't I? See there. Speed well, that is. You were lad once be eyes as blue as that. It is like Bandor's, mind you. If he comes... When he comes... And he tries to stay with you've her... You've still not cleared this proper... You want shooting, you No do. need. I'm going to do away with myself. Oh, I. Oh. What? What's your plan? Needs thinking out, something like that. Well, See, razor blades crush you, this is all right. But that's best in not back. So you've got to remember to put the immersion on. And you've got to get a decent brand of blade. Get her wrong and you could be there all day. I'm going to leave a note for the police. Oh, it's better I do that for you. Why? I'll never be able to read your writing. Well, you're all the same. I don't be so soft. Where are you going? If you want to know that, you have to follow me. Jenny! Won't you? Jenny, love! Jenny! Jen? Jenny, love? I'm glad you've come. Oh, come away now, love. It's not safe. He locked her in here, didn't he? And at night, too. Well, it was it twice at night. Just think of all them rats and spiders and cockroaches waiting, watching you in the dark. And then crawling. I don't blame her for doing him in. Oh, come on. Come on. Your mother will kill you. What's this? Get off that. Rebecca, I swear your brain's not connected to those hands of yours. Look, see up there? That's what you're playing with. It's dark. Now in tackle. You want to end up in that jam jar? You're going right there about it. Well, maybe I should just run away. Leave the lot of you. One down with your packing. So do I. I'll lend you some woolies if you like. But when night's drawing. Mm. Oh, disgusting. If that's dinner, ah! let's go and eat somewhere else. Oh, David, what? You should have answered the doorbell. <laughs> Look at that, he's taking the polish off his shoes. <laughs> so she's bloody well right. Hey, come here. <laughs> oh, David, no, don't. Don't, not here. David. Oh. Hello, Jenny. How are you doing? Hang on. I've got something for you. Here. Well, catch then. You get something for Grand too, did you? Yes. What is it? A suitcase. Oh, David, I'm sorry. I think it'd stop her circulation genes like that. Hello, David. You all right? Oh, hello, Mrs. Uh, no, call me, Gran. Everybody else does. Mum, will you tell Jenny dinner will be a bit late? That soup you're standing in? Yes. Brought them towels up, lovely. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. I'll give this to Jenny later, if you still want her to have it. It's just a dress. Stupid thing to get anyway. Oh, I'm sure she'll take it. How do you know? You haven't seen it. Hey, come on, help me get this cleaned up. Hmm? I seem to have made a lot of friends while I was away. Are you sure there isn't something you're dying to tell me? Yes. 
The mop's in the cupboard over there. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm sorry it's late. Now, who wants what, then? Uh, David, you've got your napkin, have you? What? Oh, yes. Got it. <laughs> Mother. Oh, a bit of pie, please. <laughs> well, uh, Jenny. I saw the stickers on your car. Travel a lot, dear. You your job like? Jenny. Same, please. Well, as a matter of fact, no. Not really. Oh. Well, what is it, then, your job? Well, I thought Sarah might have told you. Yeah, well, she probably did. Deaf and daft, aren't you, when you get to my age? David. Pie, please. Looks good. <laughs> pipe coating is what we do for oil and chemical companies, mostly. My husband smoked a pipe. Smelt like ferret droppings. David, watch the plate. It's hot. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and missed it after light. The smell. Yes, of course. It looks good, Sarah. <laughs> you can leave the burnt bits. We all do. Oh, not so much salt, Jenny. Well, it's a lot of stickers then for not much travelling. Oh, they were on the car when I brought it. Oh, I was second hand, mate. Quite true. Jenny, there are sparks there next to you. Oh, well, second hand's the best way. And you ruins me by a bunch of scallywags. Oh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. Germans. Uh, David, there's sprouts and potatoes. Right, great. Jenny, have some sprouts. They're good for you. Mm. You know, the British aren't made now decent since that. <coughs> what do they call it? Rolf? Morris. That were it. Morris Minor. Well, as a matter of fact... A neighbour of ours had one. Do you remember that Mr Ainsworth, love? Yes. Well, he had one. Drop dead in it, he did. 1952 it would be. That nice summer we had. David, gravy? No, thanks. It's great. Can we start, please, Mother? Of course. Oh, sorry, I didn't... Still on the road, that, Morris. <coughs> I saw it last market day. Jenny, it sprouts. Sprouts make me want to puke. If you make me eat them, I'll throw up all over the tablecloth. That's why they stopped making them. Never wore out quick enough. For the Morris engine, in fact, that's what they put in the mini. No, oh, the mini. That's how sprit the doors and about half as comfort. Mm, you only want to learn to drive, don't you, love? No. You're welcome to have a go in mine. Any time. What do you think? Say tomorrow. Just up and down the drive. So you don't travel much, then? Oh, very little, as a matter of fact. And the bit I do is by plane, mostly. Oh, it's very posh. Well, it's actually cheaper. I mean, going to the Gulf by car. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the Gulf. Well, where's that? It's in the Middle East. Oh, Jenny will know. That school teaches them all sorts of rubbish. Well? Oh, I'm sorry, Jen. I didn't see you had your mouth full of sprouts. <laughs> <coughs> do you wait, isn't it? The Gulf. And Bahrain, Saudi Arabia. Oh, I've seen mm. it pictures. Or wear tea towels on the reds. Bet girls tongues in pies. With sheep's eyes for pudding. Ah. You suck the sugar off and then bite into them. Oh, <laughs> Camel lump soup for starters. <laughs> Mother. <clears throat> well, would anyone no. like... No. No, thank you. <sighs> Did you have any trouble finding us this time, David? No, fine. I'd forgotten how nice the house was. How old is it, do you know? 17th century. 17 what, exactly? <coughs> uh, 17th century, so it's 16-something. Oh, <laughs> I didn't quite hear Jenny, that. pass me that bowl, will you? Used to be a spade forge. A bit top there. Right nuisance. Well, you can't stick your spade in more than two inches without hitting clinker. Spade forge? My grandfather had it. He used to travel to Ireland three months at a time with his samples. Still got account books, what my grandmother kept. Must have been a tough old lady, alone up here. You don't have to have men around, you know. Jenny, put the kettle on, will you? Oh, like a bloody skipper. I beg your pardon. And what about early on, when it was a farm? Any records? No, no. not really. <laughs> Nothing to speak of. So, tea or coffee? Not for me, love. I'll be getting off. There's pudding if you want it. No, there's no room left. Your stomach may shrink as you get older, <laughs> along with your brain. Night, David. Good night. Night, love. Night, mother. Night, Jenny. Night, Grant. Kettle's on. Jenny, are you having any... How am I doing so far? The whiskey's through here. Did 
You see his eyes? All bloodshot. Like he's on drugs. What would you know about it? Yeah, Dimmy's tired. He's driven a long way. Yeah, come on out at light. Can't seem to do any stitching. I've been out to look at his car. It's dead flash. Different from the last time. Yeah, I think he knows how many beans now at five. Passes that black thread, will you? That windscreen's cracked at one side. Like someone's hit it. You think you could shut your mouth long enough to thread that for a sure look? That's it, isn't it? You say something, get treated like a kid. You're not a kid. I'm a person. Yeah. Oh, tough. Well, that's the point he's in there. It's what Miss Green said. A person. There's no kids and old people and cripples and nutters. Just people. You get labelled, that's what she said. Yeah, there'd be more use of the toilet to write proper and count straight. So my ideas are just as good as anyone else's. I should have used the dark blue. What do you think? Well, notice. There's something funny about him. Oh, I see. So there's just people, but some are funny. I don't care what you say. His eyes are too close together. Oh, God. It's like talking to a piece of haddock. She just stares. If you're lucky. Well, she's not going to welcome him with open arms, is she? I'm sorry, I wouldn't. D minus for effort, E for attitude. Top that up, will you? Mm. Fact is, one minute you're being soft on her and the next screwing her down. Fact is, you're drunk. Well, no wonder she's mixed up. Listen, she's going to be pissed off for a bit. That's fair enough. You've just got to accept it. But also, you've got to let her know what's what. No point messing about. She'll look like a month of wet Sundays, then she'll come round to it. Two weeks, maximum. Sounds very businesslike. Is that how you deal with your staff, darling? Well, in a manner of speaking, yeah. They're about as insecure as your average 15-year-old. Their mouths just work faster, that's all. I'm sure they'll be delighted to hear it. They've heard it already, the ones who needed it. No one likes you being nice to them. doesn't get you anywhere. They want to know where they are with you, and they want to know it straight away. I see. No time for messing about them. Well, the same in the job. You go in, you get the parameters of the thing, product type, flow rate. I had exactly the same problem when Jenny had diarrhoea. <laughs> Point is, you don't piss people about. You let them know what's what. Well, I'll try and bear that in mind next time someone asks me to coat a pipeline. More. No, no. But there is more. There's another bottle somewhere. <laughs> Probably still in there. Did you have a moustache last time you came? No. Look, do you want to talk about this or not? Yes. Ah, ah, got it. The main thing is, they whisper in the garden everywhere. And it's very unhealthy. And not only that... They hate us, me and you, but mostly me. <laughs> I'll have a word with her tomorrow. But, ah, she won't listen. She'll not get the option. Well, it's not as simple as that. It's as simple or as complicated as you ah! want to... What's up? The pudding! The plate pudding! I've got something for you when you get back. And something for me, too. Right. Hold that while I snip it. Right. Right, a lot to do. I'm going to get ready for bed. And so are you. You've got me in enough bother for one week. They'll be too busy tongue wrestling to bother with us. Tongue wrestling? You know. <coughs> Kissing. Lord help us. <coughs> Not washing that mouth out of yours with good carved bollet was the worst mistake your mother ever made. Tongue wrestling. <laughs> You're beyond help, you are. Do you know that? Now out. And let an old woman get some sleep. Are you not feeling so good? What are you, village Bobby? It's getting so I can't breathe around here without having to make a statement on it. Have I managed to say, Sam? You've got to try it. David? David? I salvaged some of... Hey, David. Hey, anyone in? Oh! Bloody hell. Where on earth did you get that from? It's a personal stereo. My present to me. These are dreadful things. I had to confiscate at least three last term. Awful. Well, see if you like this any better. Go on then. Open it. Thank you. It won't blow up or anything. Go on. Oh. Well, what do you reckon? You don't like it. You do like it, but you're speechless at my taste and generosity. You think it's horrible. I'll change it. I know the bloke. I do. I do like it. Very much. Oh. See, what confused me, actually, was when people get something like a present, they smile. Except the Arabs, but that's a cultural thing and not their fault. 
You're still not smiling. It must have cost me. You can weigh up the price later. Anyway, probably didn't cost what you think. Friends in the trade. You know, you scratch my back and I'll coat your pipes. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely. Here, I'll pin it on. Doesn't go with the dress, mind. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to give me a present, you know. Nice, was it? You know, told him he could stuff it. Oh, beware of Greeks bearing gifts, is it now? Is he? What? It does look a bit dark, I suppose. Oh, Dickie, they don't teach you nothing, do they? Come on out. Well, go on, then, if you go. Shh, shh. He's them. They're pissed. God, I wish I was. What shall I do? I could tell. Shh, shh. Go on, you go on. I'll just make sure Jenny's all right. Where's the room? Oh, it's just off the She's floor. going in my room. It's like living with a policeman. Well, you best go out with your hands up. Clean the clean dress. Oh, hang on, on, hang on. Sleep. What little girls do at this time? Oh, you've got a lot to learn about little girls. Diva. Good night kiss now, and you'll give her alcohol and poison. <laughs> Old spice. I'm too old to be playing cops and robbers. Maybe it's best if I stay for a bit, till I get settled. I wouldn't have gone to sleep anyway. Oh, so no one else has to, I suppose. No, you go ahead. Get to sleep. Don't mind me. Where's my stuff? Bags? I moved them to the spare room. Oh, you're joking. You want me to sleep? Well, I panicked. Jenny, mother, I... Well, I'll bring them back. Too right. Oh, that's nice. What's that? <laughs> Look, there's a secret drawer. Well, that's secret, is it? Jenny used to put messages in it. Not anymore. And this is the bed, is it? Sounds quiet enough. Best wait till I've gone to the bathroom. Oh, suit yourself. Oh, that's better. Oh, you get to my age, you can't be being horizontal. You've got to finish it off now. About Lucy killing her old man. No, I'm going to sleep. If he got his fancy woman up to the house and Lucy was in the barn, how did she kill him? She built him over the head with a brick? She used her garden. Then plants? Oh, it's not difficult. And what about the other woman? She do her in too? Of course not. Why not? Oh, come on. All right. I'll tell you how it happened on last night. According to Diana. I used to lie here, finding you in shadows, stretching to touch, finding ten reasons why you wouldn't come back, ten reasons why you might. <laughs> How do you unfasten this? You see, then. A woman couldn't just leave her husband, not like now. It was a disgrace in the eyes of God. And her family wouldn't have her back neither. I mean, it was just another mouth to feed. Stop them! She belonged to her husband, see, goods and chattels, and that includes her. So everyone thought this woman was a friend of Lucy's? And Lucy encouraged them to think it. In the end, they were using Lucy as a servant. Then they'd lock her away while they went upstairs. It made her cook and clean and everything. Lucy found plants she needed. Roots of some, tops of others, and she waited till next evening when her friend was coming. Before the woman arrived, Lucy gave her husband John the brew she'd made, mixed up in a thick ale that he liked. And it killed him! Not just then. You've got to be patient with these things. So, as usual, they locked her away. Then later it started. Fight someone. To help. I can hardly breathe. They had no choice, had they? But to fetch Lucy. What about other woman? Well, it was late me then. What have you done to my husband? Murderess! So she sent the woman home. Let her go? Why? 
Susan, don't listen to her. Ring. Please, ring. Help. Lucy would be stupid to kill her, wouldn't she? He's just more problems. So she lets her go. As far as anyone knows, they're great friends. As far as anyone knows, her marriage is happy. This woman's a witness to all that, isn't she? She isn't going to say no different. There's no reason at all for anyone to kill her. No one would even think it. Natural causes. Please. Lucy. Help me. Lucy. And Lucy made the woman keep on visiting the house for years after. What for? Because they were friends, weren't they? The woman had come up and they'd sit around with maybe a few others chatting over a drink. Oh, John, were a long time going. Such nice round eyes, my belladonna. And she sat there with him to near on dawn. Oh, it just goes to show. Gran? Gran? Gran! Oh, that, that's Jenny. Gran! Jenny, it's all right, I'm coming! Oh, oh, dressing gown, what's the dressing gown? Take a look at your mum, just to make sure. No, oh, it's okay. I've just been in. Can't be too careful, though, can you? How about that cup of tea? Okay. <sighs> Beautiful. Big, round eyes. John. No, oh, Grant. It's David. Well, blow. What did you say? Save him. Oh, okay. Oh, well, let go, Gran. Let, let go and lie down. Come on. What oh, you doing? Oh. Get off her! It's all right, Jenny. Get your mother. Get your mother! Get your mother, please. I saw him. I saw him. I'm not blind. She grabbed me. The scratch was an accident. He was swearing at her. Crouched over her like some kind of black beetle. Jenny, that's enough. Oh, yes, it's always that, isn't it? Jenny, shut up. Jenny, sit down. Jenny, be quiet. Jenny, don't be silly. Jenny. Let her have her say. I'm going to report him to the police. Maybe see what else they know about him. Fine, you do that. Better still leave it till Monday and we'll all go down together. I'm sure we've got nothing better to do between now and the funeral. Why do you always have to talk to me like it's a pat on the head, you patronising cow? Well, I see you've been working on your vocabulary. He's always I thought the doctor told you to lie down and rest. Yes! Well, go and do it. Well, patronising. That's a big word for a little girl. She's got a point now, hasn't she? Don't pick at it. What? I said, don't pick at the scratch. It's nearly better. It itches like hell. Oh, it's good. It's healing. Tell you what, that stuff Jenny gave me helped along nicely. Jenny? Yeah, you know, the cream stuff. All green and greasy. Says you use it all the time. In the blue tube? No, 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 it's the stuff your mum used to make. Got rue in it or something. Antiseptic. Oh. Oh, well, I'll get you the tube of stuff I use. You can throw the other away. She is trying to help. <laughs> she doesn't know what she's doing with all that, so just get rid of it. You don't have to tell her. I think she's going to do me a nasty with a dandelion stew. You don't know her. I'm getting to know her. We're doing fine. Oh, yes. By all accounts, you've been a big success. Are a big success. Did Jenny say that? Not a word. I heard it from just about everyone else, though. Who's everyone? 
Well, when I went shopping, the butcher, the baker and candlestick maker were all pleased, if not delighted, at how you'd helped us, and especially Jenny, in our time of need. During our recent trouble, our loss, our oh, however many ways there are of not saying death. So, well done. Well, oh, and how good she felt it was. How reassuring to the man in the family again. And, uh, let's see. Oh, she was pleased not only for herself, but for me too. A bit talkative, aren't they, your shopkeepers? Mm, I reckon, in about 20 minutes per shop. Sort of village newspaper, except half of it's unprintable. Oh, well, that's good, isn't it? About Jenny. As you say, amazing. Another professional hazard? What? Being cynical. You really don't want to give her a chance, do you? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I've just been clearing out and tidying away Mother's things. I feel a bit battered about. I'm sorry. If you'd have said, I could have done it for you. <laughs> you get any work done? Yes. Not much left to do now. I could do with making some phone calls later, if that's OK. Of course. There's no need to ask. And you know when devil was chucked out of heaven? Yeah. Lucifer it was. Because at the start, like, he was God's favourite angel. But he got too big for his boots. Wanted to take over everything. So God chucked him out. Anyway, so he falls out of heaven and goes spinning and tumbling through the blackness, cursing and swearing and... Oh, there you are. That's one. Look. What? Comfrey, that is. It's good for swellings and broken bones. Nip bone, they used to call it, right? Oh, that. See that there? With pinky mauve flowers? Yeah. That's calamint. She used to make tea from that. Good for rumbling guts. So what's it taste like? Washing up liquid. <laughs> so, anyway, devil goes spinning round and round, falling for days and days. Then he lands on earth, doesn't he? Smack in a blackberry bush. Stuck. Well, in a blackberry bush? Prickles in his arse, everything. So they reckon devil's got a long memory, and he never forgot how stupid he looked. Well, sage, that is there. Well, rub it on your teeth. Makes them white. Go on, have a go. <laughs> so, every year, on October the 11th, which was when he fell, he comes back and goes round spitting out blackberries so nobody can eat him. Let's have a look, then. Sorry? Your tea. No. Maybe you have to do it two or three times, like. You've got all green bits stuck between them. You can give a sandwich with something in the house, if you like. OK, there. Uh, yeah, that's better. Wasn't right, was it? I mean, bed wasn't right where it was, was it? Yeah, well, is it OK now? Yeah. If you could just shift the chest of drawers a bit that way. What? This? Yeah. A bit more. Yeah. May as well change the sheets while I'm at it. Jenny, David! We're upstairs! Oh, I'll be right up. Well, is that it, then? Uh, hang on. Can we try the chest a bit further over? All right. Yeah, there. No, back a bit. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you two. David was just giving me a hand with the bed. Oh, it looks very nice. How about a drink? I'll stick the kettle on. It's all right. I'll do it. I just put these sheets in the washer. I thought we'd only just changed them. Coffee in ten minutes, then. I know poor David's yet. He's making some phone calls. You know, just before... Just before what? You know... No, I don't. In the room. It wasn't what it might have looked like. Well, what did it look like? I mean, with David. OK, get Paul to get onto Petromin. Abdul Razak's the bloke to see. And what about you? Well, it's coming up to Hadjin, Sally. There'll be nothing doing till after that, so I'll stay on up here and work on that Aramco tender. Fine. I think that's it, then. Get Paul to call me if there's any problems. Right. OK. Get out! I don't want to hear it! Get out! Right! Nice boy! Coffee? What's the matter? Nothing. What a noise, then, for nothing. Where's Jenny? Upstairs. It's mine. So what was all the noise about? What was all the shouting about? The hysterics, you mean? <laughs> That's what you want to call well, them. Well, men can't have hysterics. Did you know that? It's from the Greek for womb, a madness peculiar to women. So what was it about? You. She, Jenny, mentioned over a quiet cup of tea that even though I'd found you two alone in a room, I wasn't to think anything of it. <laughs> oh, you don't think? Of course not. Well, then why all the noise? 
She's tried systematically every method she can think of to stop me letting you come to stay. Oh, yes, but hang I've on. had insults, threats that she's going to kill herself, and now this. Where did she learn to think like that? Kill herself? Jenny. I know her better than you do. She's coping as best she can. You're not seeing her straight. And you are, I suppose. Look, what's the biggest pain in the ass when you're 15? No. Parents. And what comes second? Teachers. Full marks. Oh, I am glad you came, David. You're being a big help. And the third question, what do cannibals play at a party? I have no idea. Follow my leader? <laughs> Shouldn't that be swallow? What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, look, we could get away for a bit, if you like. Holiday. Give you a break. When? Now, if you like. Why not? Tomorrow. Get away. No. Later, maybe. I'm not asking. I'm telling you. What? Doctor's orders. You need a break. David! See Jenny? David! Hey. If Armageddon comes, you'll be the last to know. How's your head? Same. I'm not surprised with those on. Well, the music's OK. It's trying to get through all these figures that's doing it. Have you got any aspirin or something? We've finished them. Why don't you leave the figures for a while? Why don't you just get me some aspirin? All right. Look, it's... I do need to get through this lot. It's important, all right? Could be a big contract. Fine. I've got that examiner's meeting. I'll pick some up on the way back. Have you seen Jenny? No. Oh, will you tell her I've gone out? There's some stuff in the fridge. Fine. See you about three, then. Yeah. What's that in honour of then? Nothing. Looks like you've been to a party. A half past eleven in the morning. Oh, I don't know. Birthday party or something? I'm not a kid, you know. Fine. I went to the village, if you must know. Music lesson. Talked to some people. Had a look at some of the cottages. Dead ancient, some of them. People or cottages? Both. I thought you'd recognise it. Recognise what? The dress. You know. Oh, right. Yes. The present. Last seen on the kitchen floor. Suits you. Can I help? Yes. But going away, quietly, leaving me and my headache to get on with this. Oh, I'll bet you something if you want. Like Gran used to. <laughs> no, no thanks. I've smelt it. Anyway, your mum's bringing me something from the chemist. She'll be ages yet. Besides, too many aspirin are bad for you. Too me. many anything are bad for you. By definition. Okay, yeah. If you want to be clever about it. You're starting to sound like your mother. I was only All right, to... all right. Sold. I'll have some. It's just an excuse. Spare me the details, will you? Just wheel it in and I'll have it. Good meeting. Mm, hopeless. Did you get those aspirins? Oh, sure. They're in here somewhere. Oh, God. Oh, it's killing me. Jenny tried to help out, made me one of Gran's potions. She did what? Oh, it smelt so bad, I had to chuck it away. You'll have no trouble with your drains this winter. David, you've no idea, have you? Don't ever, ever let Jenny do anything like that again. Oh, look, I've heard all that. The wife locked up, the mistress, the wicked husband poisoned and heaving his guts up. Jenny told me all about it on one of her lecture tours around the garden. Poisonous plants are speciality. Is that what all the fuss is about? You don't know what she can be like. Jenny and your mum hated it, didn't you? Them being so close. Now me and Jenny. The same. No! The sooner we get you away on holiday, the better. Yeah, but I haven't asked Jenny about that yet. Well, don't ask her. What? Tell her. And get me that aspirin, will you?
Refreshment. Oh, tap. Just what I could do with. Courtesy of your mother. Cheers. Oh. It's a fair size, that. Has to be to get round this lot. You always do the mowing, do you? What? Hang on a minute. I said you always... You shouldn't have done that. It's a real bugger to get started oh, again. I'm sorry, I wasn't... I mean, if you want to go away, you've got to get to play straight first, haven't you? I'll do it when we get back. Don't understand gardens, do you? So how long does it take, then? day or so. Depends. Well, I could help. Maybe get through by the evening. What do you reckon? Could do. You could take a turn on this if you want. Why not? Right. Pull that out to yeah. kick engine over. Yeah. That's neutral. Forward. Right. Break. Right. OK? OK. I'll take glasses back. He shouldn't have switched it off. I'll bring those glasses over here. I'll do them. He's helping. Thinks we'll get away quicker. Good. Is he always in such a rush? You can just go, you know. On your own. I'll be all right. I'll be fine. I don't mind. If you've got any clothes you want washing, you could bring them down. Jenny, it needs more petrol. It's not petrol. It's a mix. I'll show you. You got to watch out for stones and stuff, else you chip the blades. See? Is that it? But well, there's a bit more on the other side. More? It's all right. It can wait. How you do it? Slip of a thing like you. It's practice. You'll get the hang of it. You should put this to compost. No, oh, over here. Ten bananas in one hand, ten bananas in the other. What you got? Don't know. Big hands. Come back, I want to show you something. In the barn. What do you get if you cross an elephant with a goldfish? Uh, Swimming trunks. What do you call a man with a bird's nest in well, his head? Well, it could be. Cliff, come on, I'll race you. Says, why are you writing that letter so slowly? And this kid says, because Jenny... Lady, Jenny! Tea's still ready. Oh, there you are. Well, I've been shouting for ages. It'll be cold. Where's the other intrepid gardener? Mummy? Yes? Close your eyes. Oh, Jenny, I'm too busy. Please. All right, but make it quick. Eyes closed tight. Yes. Look. Oh. Jenny. It's beautiful. Jenny. got pictures, blue ones, just like the other one. Come here. Oh, darling. Jenny, mm. love, help me. It was an accident, Mummy. It's beautiful.
Paradise and No Adam by Keith Goodall. The cast was as follows. Jenny, Sonia Ritter. Gran, Claire Kelly. Sarah, Carol Nimmons. David, Ian Redford. John, Pierce Quigley. And Lucy, Julia Ford. The music was composed by Chris Reason. The play was directed in our Manchester studios by Robert Cooper. Ah, 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 ah.